Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to determine whether the decimal expansion of a rational number is finite or infinite. Look around the world and you will see rational numbers everywhere. We see them at the grocery store, on the highway, and even on food labels. Did you ever wonder about the differences between these numbers? We can explore the differences by first finding the decimal expansion of any rational number. For instance, when starting with a fraction, we simply divide the numerator by the denominator. 3 divided by 4 is equal to 75 hundredths. And 1 divided by 6 results in the number 0 0.16666 repeating. Or, we can write this with a line over the digit that repeats. In this case, case it's the 6. Since the digits in this instance terminate, we call this a finite number. Since the digits here go on forever, we call this an infinite number. More formally, we say the decimal expansion of a number is finite if the digits end. You may have also heard this to be called a terminating decimal. On the other hand, a decimal is infinite if the digits continue on forever. In the case of a rational number, you will see that the decimal eventually repeats, such as in the example above. If you ever encounter an infinite decimal that is infinite but does not repeat, you can be certain that it is not a rational number. We call these numbers irrational numbers. Which of the following numbers have decimal expansions that are finite? 7 halves is finite since 7 divided by 2 is equal to 3 and 5 tenths. 1 and 7 twentieths is also finite since the resulting decimal expansion is equal to 1 and 35 hundredths. Lastly, 8 divided by 9 results in the number 8 repeating. Therefore, it is not a finite number, but an infinite number. In conclusion, if the decimal expansion of a number terminates, we call it a finite number. If the decimal expansion of a number is repeating forever, we call it an infinite number. Both types are still considered rational numbers since they can both be written as a fraction. Mm -hmm.